Hello all my friends on YouTube. I just finished up installing the power system for my GPS unit. I tested it out the other day on the Triumph. I pretty much got the same setup as far as the RAM mount, but I wanted to wire it in a little bit more permanently. When I did the test over on the Triumph, I was just running off the battery. It's kind of neat. The battery actually lasted a lot longer than I thought. I think it normally lasts about an hour and 15 minutes before it gives you the low battery warning. And I was still on my right about 20 minutes from home, so I just acknowledged the low battery alarm, and it um, lasted another 20 minutes. took me all the way home. didn't turn itself off or anything. So I'd say it's close to a two-hour battery, and you know? not, not bad. just won't work for traveling, so I have to riggy-do up an electrical connection. And Right here, if you can see... This is where the this is the female socket and this is the male socket and they fit right down in here perfectly so I don't really have to do a lot of stuff and it's easy to take apart again. I still haven't decided if I'm going to leave this as a permanent thing or just use it for my trip next week. <clears throat> and I also wanted to give an update to those of you that are interested. The meetup in Kansas City, actually technically Grandview, is May 21st, 6.30 p.m., Grandview, if you know where, those of you that live in the Kansas City area probably know where the Truman Corners Shopping Center is, um, but if you don't, just type Grandview, Missouri, IHOP, and it's the IHOP restaurant right there in uh, Grandview in the shopping center area. I think there's a CVS pharmacy near it too. But anyway, back to my electrical connection. What I did was I took the wire and I connected the positive end of the wire right to my solenoid there because it was just easy access rather than digging down through the battery. And the battery positive terminal is over here and it's covered up and everything. Although the negative terminal is totally free, so I connected the negative side there. And in case any of you are interested for safety purposes, right there is the fuse link in there. So it's connected from here to here and then right in there is the 10 amp fuse. Because it is when you do a wiring job like this, especially when you're direct to, although this is not technically direct to the battery, this wire goes direct to the battery. So connected in here, you might as well call it the same thing. But yeah, don't ever do that without a fuse in there. You're going to start some kind of fire or you're going to short out something and damage something. So always, always have a fusible link in there. So it's connected up there, coiled around the extra wire. It's, it's a pretty lengthy wire, so I coiled around some there and then this just... All these pieces just lay down there. The reason why I have them slid apart right now is because this connector for the GPS units for Garmin, I don't know if the others work that way, but for the Garmin, it's always powered up. So um, if I'm not going to be using it on a trip, I'm going to leave it slid apart, and then I'll just slide it back together when I'm ready to use the GPS unit. And then as far as running the cable, I ran it a little bit of it just inside the side cover there you can see. This is the cable right here. And then over this part here, and as you can see, I put it inside an extra tube. This is just a vacuum hose, just to kind of protect it from a little bit of the engine heat because it'll be up in the area there, so that way the wire isn't. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wire tie there just to kind of hold it in place better. And then up through this shroud here, and then up, and I just wrapped it around. This is another wiring cable that works for your... Uh, kill switch and your starter button and stuff like that and the main thing is I left slack here you gotta leave enough slack and test it when you do it turn your handlebars to both stops then make sure on the right this is not pinched which it's not it's got plenty of room and then on the left it doesn't like stretch and it's just wrapped around here and temporarily I've got a rubber band just holding it in place which most of the time when I'm riding and I don't have the UPS unit active I'll probably just have it like this but otherwise I just pull the rubber band off run the power over to the back of the unit when I'm using it so that's my GPS setup and uh, yeah it's obviously not a setup to run it permanently it's something that I could pull out pretty quickly if need be I'd say probably less than five minutes I can have the whole thing it's a matter of just once I pop the seat and then pop the side cover over there it's just uh, five minutes to take it out and take it all apart so no big deal I just want to show you some of my preparations for the trip Hopefully we'll have maybe 8, 10, 12 people show up for the Midwest meetup, the first of the two Midwest meetups. This one's on the 21st, and the next one I'll talk about a little bit later, but just if you're interested, the next one is in Canton. And we were going to do it on the 18th, but we moved up to the 17th. It's going to be a barbecue. And like I said before, Mr. Polymers will be hosting the barbecue. So a little bit later in the summer, we'll be talking about that one. So anyway, just to kind of let you know what's going on. Talk to you guys later.